This video is sponsored by World of Warships. Well guys, I have done it again. I have bought myself another problematic prancing horse. And well, this one is a little bit of a dilemma. I don't actually know what to do with this car. Let me explain. So this car is a Ferrari 328 GTS. So it's a Targa. And well, it came all the way over across the pond from Canada. But all is not what it seems. So let me explain the backstory on this one and why I have bought another Project Ferrari. The idea was to use it as the base for a tribute Ferrari F40. Now, when it arrived, I saw it and actually it looks really good. Apart from the obvious very dented blue engine lid here, the rest of the car is really, really in good shape right up until the bit where you get to the front of the car where things take a turn for the worse. Now there's two things I love to do in my spare time. One of them is buying project Ferraris like this and everything else you see on the channel. And the other one is commanding warships. One of them, I'm great at the other one. Well, not so much. Enemy cruiser suck. Hang on, I'm needed. World of Warships is a free to play game available on PC with new content released every month. Whether it's new ships, in-game nations, cosmetics, or even ship classes, you can always count on enjoying fresh gameplay experiences in World of Warships stunning 12v12 arenas. The ship is on fire, problem solved, sir. The graphics are amazing with more than 40 unique maps and dynamic weather, all of which has been updated with stunning new water effects and textures that make the game seas virtually indistinguishable from the real deal. And with updates such as Godzilla vs Kong, Transformers or even Megadeth, this game is awesome. And there's multiple ship classes you can choose from to go out and conquer the oceans aboard history's most iconic battleships, destroyers, aircraft carriers, cruisers, or even submarines. And World of Warships is also available on console so you can have fun battling your friends and enemies pretty much anywhere. So make sure you download World of Warships by using my link in the description and during registration use promo code BRAVO to receive a huge starter pack including 500 doubloons, 1.5 million credits, 7 days of premium account time and a ship. And if you're brave enough, come find me on the oceans for a battle. Alright, let's give you a tour of the car. First of all, let's look at some of the good bits. Check this out. This is the interior. The seats are amazing. A little clean up on these and they are like brand new. The leather is perfect. Uh, we've got all the dash. There is no shrinkage to the lever on the dash. Everything is good there. The radio is missing. We'll come to the, uh, the dash pod over there in a second. The only real thing with the interior is this center console down here, which um, it was not in place. It was over here. So it looks like it's all faded. So that could get fixed. No problem at all. Everything back here is okay. Uh, steering wheel, we're missing the horn. We've got no windscreen at all, but check this out. It is absolutely gorgeous. Everything's in all the uh, locks, all the windows. We've got the window switches down here. They're all good. There's a couple of switches missing in the middle here, mainly this one. Now I have checked and that is, well, it's almost 900 pounds to replace this one. All of our switches work. We've got a lighter missing. We've got a plan for that. We've got a load of little nuts and bolts in there. And even more of a shocker was when I looked in here. This oh, is a very broken engine lid, but in there is, well, the best part of an engine. Let's have a look. Now, unfortunately, the hood shocks don't work. So we're going to use the spare Ferrari gear shifter to hold everything up. So when the car arrived, obviously I had bought it for the chassis, but opening up the engine lid and seeing this, now I knew we had some kind of bits for an engine, but how complete this is. Uh, now we do have problems with it, but I'm going to tell you later on how much I paid for what you see here, this car with the shipping from Canada. And I think you're going to be a bit shocked when I compare that to the rest of the market of cars, 328s that are not crash damaged. Plus, I'm going to tell you how many miles this engine has done or this whole car has done. Anyway, this 
is not fully complete. Uh, there are a couple of bits that are broken on it. Now, I don't know how much you can see here. Let's see if I can get my, uh, my phone light. Unfortunately, I don't have a light here. So you can see the side of the uh, engine block there. The transfer case is, well, it's missing. And if you look here, you can see that, uh, well, the metal is sheared away quite badly in some places. Now, you can actually buy that little kind of sandwiching part in between that and the transfer case that sits here on the end. Um, and well, a complete engine on this, a working engine is, well, it's well over 10,000 pounds. And um, I think we can get this running. Let me show you some other cool things that I've discovered with this. So if we carefully open up the back here, the rear, compartment, the trunk, the boot space on this car. Well, again, it's a pretty shocking discovery. We've got, well, just foam protection there. Over here, if you guys follow me on uh, the 308 rebuild, we have got the Jektronic ECU. Slightly different on the Ferrari 328, but look at that. Looks in perfect condition. Now that, I believe there might be a second one here in that compartment, but there is a hole down there and some wiring that we'll get to. And I think this Jetronic sits over there, but it gets better still. I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put some gloves on. Let's get all this stuff out and I'll show you what we've got. All right, so check this out. So we've got all of our fuel lines. We have got spark plug cables. That's not complete, but I've checked those. Apart from one, there is a complete set there. This is the bit that uh, sits over there. Alternator there. It looks in very, very good condition, original. We've got the fuel metering head that sits, again, if you follow the 308 build, it sits here. We can see a bit of cloth there, so it sits there. Then we've got all of those fuel pipes that go to the injectors. So that is just in the boot, but we have also got a big tub of parts that were strapped to the front of this car. We'll talk about this in a second. Let's have a look in here first. Straight away, I can tell you that is obviously the uh, manifold. I don't know which side, I think it's the rear of the car. Um, I'm gonna have a quick look over here and see if the other side is on it. So we've got one that sits down there. So we've got a pipe here and it looks like here, is that the other part of the, yeah, I think we got both manifolds, front and rear, and the side pipe there. Again, if I break this for parts, it's worth good money. Engine mounts, we've got ourselves a starter motor here that has also been sheared off, you can see that. Now this is interesting, look at this. This is our transfer case, right on, that's the end of it with some gears. Now we've obviously got one missing there. Let's put that down there carefully because that looks very expensive. Now I don't know what that is. I don't think that's, is that meant to be in there? I don't think so. So we've got uh, air pipes. The crankshaft pulley right there. Greasy box right there. Oil pickup wiper motor there. Belts, 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 belts. We have got a dipstick, oil dipstick. We've got one more major big part and this might help us understand what happened to this car. Now the thing with the engine is, I don't know what has really happened with that. My suspicion is for some reason, this engine was taken out of the car, maybe to service it, who knows. But looking at that, I think the engine was dropped, probably on a crane and it fell down and it smashed the end. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, but certainly when I show you the rest of the bits on this, that's what I think happened. Whoa, that's heavy. Let's check this out, guys. So this is the side where our transfer case goes here. So that will mount onto there like so. That looks very good. There's no damage to either of those parts that I can see. But this is what I'm talking about. Look at this. This crankcase 
all of this here this is the clutch look it's just sheared off completely that is extremely sharp as well and um, you can see all of that bracket let's have a look that's all to do with our clutch so uh, I don't want to damage any of that so that's our clutch so that is the mountain surface here and that's where it's sheared off the car, the rest of that. And that is what we can see. So that is the other part of it. Now, some of it is remained against the engine block here. Now, the question is, is it worth trying to rebuild this? How damaged is this engine? Is it worth me getting a crane, pulling this out and having a good look around it? That is not going to be light. So um, we'll have to get a crane over here to do it, an engine hoist. What do you think, guys? From what you've seen, could we rebuild this engine? Before you help me decide what to do with this lovely Ferrari 328 and just how good it is, we should probably also discuss just how bad it is. Okay, so this is all the good stuff and this is where the good stuff stops. The front of the car here is, well, a little bit mangled and it gets really bad down there. First of all though, Here's a front grille, probably, well, a few hundred quid's worth and in very good condition. So we're going to put that down there. Uh, so what have we got here? Let's talk about the good and the bad. First of all, everything there is all good. We've got all of our brake system. There's uh, something missing here, connecting those two pipes. We've got a little, uh, a little joiner kind of valve there that's missing. Uh, heater system looks complete. It looks very clean. It's got a bit of dust on it. Here we have all the steering rack, that all looks good. A lot of the mounts and stuff like that from this can be used on an F40. Battery I have put there, that was not with the car. All of the suspension, all of the front wheels, all of the pipe work, all looks really, really good. All of our steering rack here, brake lines, suspension, all of the arms, both sides really good. Uh, you saw the wiper motor that sits here. Now, obviously, the front wings, the arches, the fenders, they have all been taken off the car. They're missing. All of the damage is on this front frame section. Now, you saw if you watched the BBI how delicate Ferrari frames are at the front here. Considering these cars, 150, 200 mile an hour cars, they were not brilliantly made in the 80s. It's all snapped here. The good part of it is everything before here. So all of our uh, anti-roll bar, all of our suspension, all of that is, to me, it looks perfectly straight. There's no damage here backwards. It's all this frame section, which is actually really quite easy to, uh, well, if you could get a, uh, a, a, a car that has been broken, that's had rear end damage, that you could literally weld on and uh, the rest of it is just, just a frame. So you'd cut it here, you would cut it here and just weld a frame section on. So if anyone's got a frame section, a front section from a Ferrari 328 especially, I'm sure this is probably identical on a Ferrari 308, um, then drop me a comment below. Now it's no secret that my absolute ultimate Ferrari is an F40, however, if I had millions in the bank to spare, there is another car that is rarer than the F40, that costs more than the F40, that I would also love to own. Now, Ferrari built 1,311 F40s in total, and if you compare that to the top five, the LaFerrari, the Enzo, the F50, the F40, and the 288 GTO. The 288 GTO was the rarest of them all, and it's also a lot more expensive than an F40. It also looks quite like one of these. Now I think you guys know where we are going with this. If we've got to do some bodywork on this car, should we make this 328 into a 288 GTO tribute? Have some fun with it. It's not going to be any kind of BBI level or F40 level build. This is going to be a fun build where we make it look like something that I would really love to, but very unlikely ever going to own. Engine wise, we can have some fun in there too. We can put some big power in there, sell that, offset some engine costs and build something that looks like this. 
A black 288 GTO to me looks uber cool, but with prices at over three million pounds and only 272 made, I think a tribute that I could use on a daily basis would be a great alternative. Now check this out. The car has obviously had accident damage. This is just like a Volkswagen. Solid. There is no structural damage in the midsection on this one. I love these roofs, they're so simple. Everything got so complicated when we started putting hydraulics and electrics. So that is the roof. And again, look at that, carpet's looking good. That will clean up lovely. Now, as you saw earlier, we had a battery in the front of the car and now my idea really was to hook that up and just check some of the electrics on this one. Unfortunately, what we have got here behind the panel is uh, the area where our fuse board would normally sit. Now, it is, as you can see, missing. So my idea has fallen rather flat because without the fuse board, I can't really test most of this. So let me reveal a bit more about the interior on this car and the mileage on this car is just 16,922. And from what I can see on the condition of this, that is very likely to be the original mileage on this Ferrari 328. We've got a couple of switches actually here I've just noticed that are missing. They are uh, the window switches on the driver's side that can control both windows. Unfortunately, this driver's window here, as you can see, is down. The passenger one is up and currently there is no way of me to sort this out plus i've got no windscreen so it's lucky we are inside with this car i believe that is our water temperature gauge that's missing everything else is all here it's all original and um well i did actually buy one 30 pounds water temperature gauge that is going to go in there and that has then completed everything on the front here. We got one more bit in the box here as well. That is this. So that is our lighter that is missing. I managed to uh, have that. I had a spare one of those. So the only thing that we have got missing now is uh, the switch that goes in there and a radio and obviously the fuse board and uh, well, a windscreen and then the interior it's complete, oh, and the uh, the two switches that go in the door here. So, uh, not bad. Oh, and a horn. <laughs> so a few things. Yeah, I wonder, if the, I wonder if this key works on that. Look at that, guys. Matching key with locks. All of those work. So this 328 was actually used as a parts car to keep other 308s and 328s on the road. When it was crashed and they needed a rare part or part they couldn't get hold of, they would take it off of this one. But I don't think they've taken off enough to make this one beyond economical repair. You see, Ferrari 328s in the last few years have really risen in value. Let me enlighten you with just how much I actually paid for this. So how much has this 328 sent me back? Well, obviously I bought the car over in Canada but the equivalent UK pound price was just £9,500. I then had to pay a further £2,500 to ship the car and import taxes. So the car owes me just over £12,000, which I think is a very good price. In fact, I am confident that if we broke that car for parts, I could at least double that money. Now, if you also take into account that the average price for a non-damaged Ferrari 328 here in the UK is anywhere between 75,000 and well over 100,000 pounds. I'm hoping you'll agree that I think Rata Rossa has picked up a little bit of a bargain at 12,000 pounds. So what do we do with this Ferrari 328? Well, as I see it, we've got four different options. We have two thirds of a very nice car here. All the stuff on the inside, all of this section here is really, really good, but we would have to rebuild the engine, rebuild the front. So do we save this car, put it back on the road as a low mileage 328? Or do we do a 288 GTO conversion? Now, if I do that, the problem I've got is money would then have to be spent on this car, which could be spent on another very cool project. 
Having said that, this would be a very cool project as a 288 GTO in black, as I showed. Or we've got two other options. Do I break this for parts, use the bits I need for another project and sell everything else off, which is probably gonna be quite profitable. Or finally, do we just sell it on as it is? Well guys, there you go, the ultimate problem to have. What to do with a surplus Ferrari? Anyway guys, hope you enjoyed this one. Let me know what your thoughts are on this car in the comments and I will see you all very shortly in the next one. Don't forget you can check out what I go up to on a daily basis over on my socials. Until then, Stay safe and ciao for now.